it was quite interesting how the show explored classism, particularly mm, through like Nell and her family's mm. yeah. uh, plight throughout the series. Uh, and I wonder what did you both make of how that was approached and examined in, in the show? I think that's probably at its heart. You know, class is really um, at the heart of the show. And also how Sally delved into like the press side of things. I know you've, you've seen all the episodes now. You know how, how mm. she takes on that side of things. Mm. It's just so clever and... Um, yeah, everything felt like a comment, but it never felt preachy or it never felt forced. No. But yet somehow it, it feels like a real, you know, every every kind of point that's made feel like it res- resonates sort of now and that there is an analogue for stuff that's going on in the world now that you can be, well, that is what that is about, basically. Yeah, exactly. Um, there's a very strong sense of right and wrong, I think, throughout the whole, yes, the whole show. Yes, there really is, yeah. The key into that with Sally is that she doesn't go through the nostalgia of etiquette in period drama mm. and really goes to the heart of the characters. So that's how it feels very modern. And um, with that, you get a deeper understanding and uh, empathy with, you know, the state of the patriarchal structures then and, you know, how it might reflect now as well. And, yeah, I feel like that's that's her way in that was really good as an actor to see and humanise these characters and not think you're having to jump back in time to meet them. So hopefully that's how the audience feels as well. I certainly can't say better than that. I thought that that was spot on. I think what you said about going straight to the heart of the character, Mm. I think that is absolutely Sally Wainwright. And then I just think she's so clever with her dialogue. Mm. She's just so funny. It's just got that edge. In our house, Mm -hmm. it was like very cold. But obviously we're in this bit of a bubble where we don't really... We, we don't fully see the privilege that we have mm-hmm. at all times. And then you flash to, you know, Nell's family and it's vibrant and alive and, and they have a lot less. I think Sophia maybe has a little bit more of Absolutely, an... Absolutely, And, and yeah. so does Poynton, more of an understanding of the positioning. Right, right. Whereas Thomas is just like, I'll just drink. I'll just have a bit of fun. <laughs> and I'll yeah. cause a problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Sophia and her dad are, you know, a bit more... Yeah. A tiny bit more educated. They're in sync with each other, aren't they? (laughs) I'm the problem.